All right, here we have a 1923 Ford Model T, or known as the T Bucket. This particular car is a glass bodied car. It was built in 2009. So it's actually titled as a 2009 reconstructed title because uh, that obviously is when this vehicle was built to represent 1923 T Bucket. So again, we do have a clear title on it. Title in Minnesota, it is titled as an 09 model year. So just want you to be clear of that. And that is when the vehicle was built. As far as the build itself, like I said, it is a glass body. You can see up front we have disc brakes, both sides. Small block Chevy powers this. Dual Edelbrock carbs. The engine is paired with a turbo 350 automatic transmission. It's got an electric fan, keeps it cool, HEI ignition. Very nice running and driving vehicle uh, gentleman that brought this to us. Actually drove it oh, about an hour and 20 minutes, I suppose, from the distance he was away, hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half away. You can check out the underside pictures if you'd like to see how this was built and, and running gear and everything on it. Check out the underside pictures at uniqueclassiccars.com. Something else I'll tell you about this as we get around to the back, there are a set of rear fenders for it, and there is also a vinyl top for it that can come on and off that's laying behind the car. I do have the pictures of those fenders and the top on it at that website that I just told you about, uniqueclassiccars.com. Feel free to give us a call too, 507-386-1726. And we'll sure be happy to discuss the car with her if you have any questions. Uh, gas tank in it is underneath that rear panel that you see set in right there. Battery's underneath the seat. All right, so slip around to the back. Here's the fenders. The flame part obviously faces forward. There's your vinyl top. It does have a little clear plastic or vinyl window in the rear of it. These fasten in. You can see kind of the tubes right there. Those tubes will slide in to that hole and the one down below. The one down below has two set screws in that tube where you can tighten it down so they'll stay in. So they actually fit on there pretty nice. They don't rattle around. And like I said, uniqueclassiccars.com is where you can check those pictures out. So I kind of have it pictured up with the top on, top off, fenders on, fenders off. Nice little rumble to it, nothing too crazy, but what you'd expect out of a tea bucket. They actually incorporate kind of the mufflers or sound deadeners within that tube after the headers. We're going to go ahead and fire it up here so you can hear it. I have it in neutral to start it. and I'll just reach in so you don't have to listen to me try to climb in and out of there. But actually, you get in, very comfortable. Easiest to come in from the passenger side, of course, and slide across behind the wheel. Starts easily, runs very nice. Like I said, no bump a lot of earth, nothing, nothing too crazy. Look at her billet, especially wheels. If I remember right? Yep. It's a kind of nice looking polished aluminum wheel, radial tires, both in good shape. Again, the gentleman drove this vehicle here, uh, hour and twenty minutes, hour and a half to get here. So he tells us goes down the road pretty nice. There you have it, 1923 T-Bucket replica, the glass body reproduction that was built in 2009, and it is titled as a 2009 Ford. Please feel free, like I said, if you have any questions, give us a call. Number 507-386-1726. And like I said, that website, once again, uniqueclassiccars.com.